My heart broke like yours this week as we saw another sick, broken person who took the lives of three adults and then the part that crushed me, three children. And, and immediately, you all know before it, you, you even get another word out, you know what's coming. Immediately, there are going to be people that are going to jump up and down and they're going to scream about the, the politicians and the lawmakers and the lobbyists and, and the gun makers and the, all those. You know what's coming. It's, it's their fault if we would just stop doing that. And at the same time, you know the other voices that are coming too. It, well, you know, it's, it's not the rock's fault. You know, the rock is what Cain used to kill Abel and the rock is what David used to kill Goliath. We know the arguments. It's not the rock's fault. And let me just tell you today, I don't have an easy answer for you. These are complicated issues. But I have a clear answer to you, for you, of where to turn when crisis happens. The place we turn to is Jesus. When brokenness happens, I don't have an easy answer for who to blame. But I have a clear answer in this, that God can receive glory. Glory. 